Hello friends, let us learn some important points about the amino acid arginine. Arginine is a basic amino acid and it is a glucogenic amino acid. It is basic amino acid and glucogenic amino acid and it is a semi-essential amino acid. So if you see the functions of this arginine, this arginine can be used in the synthesis of nitric oxide synthesis. We can use this arginine. Arginine is used in urea cycle and also creatinine synthesis. We use this arginine. So we will see some important pathway of arginine. So if you see L-arginine gets converted to L-ornithine and in the presence of the enzyme arginase this L-ornithine gets converted to L-glutamate semi-aldehyde in the presence of the enzyme ornithine amino transferase. This L-glutamate semi-aldehyde will undergo series of reactions and it forms alpha-ketoglutarate which enters the Krebs cycle thus it is glucogenic. So if you see this pathway I will also put in the uh, enzymes. So L-arginine gets converted to L-ornithine in the presence of the enzyme arginase and during this process water is added and urea is released. This L-ornithine combines with alpha-ketoglutarate and it forms glutamate and L-glutamate semi-aldehyde and during this process uh, the enzyme used here is ornithine amino transferase. Then this alpha-ketoglutamate semi-aldehyde through a series of reactions it forms alpha-ketoglutarate which becomes glucogenic. Right? Now there is one more for pathway. This arginine undergoes decarboxylation and it forms argmentin. What is this argmentin? This argmentin is a is used as a neurotransmitter and this augmentin is used as neurotransmitter and it has antihypertensive property. So this is about uh, the amino acid arginine. You, you, even if you don't remember this pathway that's completely fine. What you have to remember is this L-arginine at the end produces alpha-ketoglutarate which enters the Krebs cycle and also it, it also enters the gluconeogenesis okay and it form and it becomes glucogenic whereas this L-arginine also produces argmentin which will act as a neurotransmitter so these two at least you should remember so thank you guys for watching my lecture thank you